Welcome back, family. I have a word for you from our Lord today. This word uh, is dated 5 13 20 23 10 29 a.m. Please forgive any noise. <laughs> uh, look up Hebrew for the number 10 29, Lord laughing, through Sister Casey. This word is called Luke 11 9. This is page one. I write your words, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My bride, I deliver additional truths based upon a question Servant Casey asked of Father. I bear witness to many conversations that Casey has with Father. It is glorious. I delivered the eye puzzle image, and as my servant often does, Casey asked Father many questions. I write through Casey now some of such inquiries Casey made to Father. Her most appreciated question was concerning the order of creation. Casey asked Father to lay out how Holy Spirit taught her all manner of the order of creation. Let us look now at the eyeball. Casey was imparted the truth of the mystery of restored sight. All things eyeball, as she likes to say. Jesus laughs. As we look at how the eyeball is created, we can understand three of layers. All of Father's creation has his design signature, so to speak. Look at your land where you dwell. Does it also have those three of layers? Look at the tree. Can you see a similar pattern? Here's the images of the tree. The fingerprint in the trees. Fingerprint on our hands. This is the earth. You can see the layers. The earth being shaped as an eyeball. <laughs> now, look at formation of a typical seed. More layers of three. The seed biology. See the layers, family? This is the eyeball, family. I stopped on three, two, one, family. <laughs> think, uh, um, think of other creations of fathers such as an egg, or a bone, or a human embryo. The list is infinite. When Casey was communing with Father, some of what transpired is written out. Casey, why do people still delude themselves over flat earth? Father, wisdom of man always fails my child. Casey, would our eyeballs be flat too? If earth is flat. Father, lapping hard. If one used logic of man, then one could suppose so, my child. Lapping, father. Or lapping, and then father. Man can pluck the eye from its socket and dissect it, and know it is formed with certainty of three protective layers, as all creation. Man can hold the eyeball shaped as a spear in his hand. Man can look upon this creation placed in the body, used to witness all of my handiwork, and still veer off in feeble-mindedness and deceit to believe your world is not also a spear. Father is laughing loudly. Page 3. Father, Casey, question. 
Did Holy Spirit lead you in all truths of my son? Casey answers, Yes, Father. Holy Spirit gave me orderly truths every second since I became born again. Thank you for sending us Holy Spirit, Father. Father, Casey, most, most believers cannot or will not throw out the worldly deceitful wisdom fed into them since birth. This is the answer to your question, my lovely daughter. Casey, so all things made by you, Father, bear witness to three layers. Bugs, people, plants, animals, the earth, and so on. Father, with cert certainty, my daughter, three are one in all things. My daughter, Casey, thank you, Heavenly Father, for delivering your truth. Someday you can show us the purpose of cockroaches. Father, all creation serves a purpose. Laughing, even cockroaches. <laughs> this has been a most pleasant time communing with you, my daughter. Casey, laughing. Thank you. I love you, Father. My love is true for you, child, and all that are mine. Page 4. I give this testimony of the exchange between Casey and Father for two reasons. It glorifies Father. It also is testimony to the truth that Father can and will speak to his children in many ways, as Shelley so diligently has proven to my flock. My loves, do not place limits on your Creator. Father sent me, did he not? Lord laughs. I pray you have taken time to study the entirety of all truths delivered to you by Casey's pen. I am truth. I am light. I am the way. I am life. Bring all concerns to me. I will lead my flock to truth all way. Some of you dig in your heels along the way. Lord laughing again. I will still love my flock. It is the order of things. Now, my bride, continue in the word intensely. It sows quickening power through Holy Spirit fire within you. Pray for one another and the will of Father on earth as it is in heaven. I love each of you deeply, your bridegroom, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stop time, 11.23 a.m. Look it up, laughing Lord Jesus. Luke 11, 19, 11, 9, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. A couple things to share, family. Uh, the Lord would drop this in my feed for confirmation, but also another reminder of the 23 double helix DNA strands, 23 and 23, and how it connects to the 153 fish and us being the temple of God and how we have to be fully sanctified by the Lord taking the key of David and turning us right to enter into heaven. And, you know, Pisces, they are on cords, one going left, one going right. One tethered to the pit, one tethered to heaven. The cord must be broken, turned right. The 153. But also, it says, confirms biblical creation science. Okay? And this is what the Lord is teaching us today. All right? Also, he gave me the number 911, which is also 119 <laughs> for the scripture. And if you look at the top, it has a 113 for Lord. Okay. And then in between uh, Humble Seekers video with Ascension Day, 
the Lord wanted me to remind everyone, Ascension Day is May 17th. Nissan 1 was March 22nd and 23rd. The Lord himself has confirmed it through Casey and I, through her hearing and through my vision. And in his own words, when he was speaking on second Passover and he taught us. Okay. I want to make a note to anyone with channels. If I, if I come to your channel and I say the Lord has sent me there to give you a message. It's because the Lord has sent me there to give you a message. I don't go out of order. Okay. I wouldn't say that if he didn't send me. So please um, understand that. We are accountable for all our words, and the bride must stay in order. If he sends me, I go. Otherwise, I rarely leave anyone a comment. That stopped on 113 for Lord. Family, the Lord's been teaching us about the anointings and our tribes. And I just want you to know, these are three anointings. The ox, the eagle, and the lion. My first anointing was the eagle. Before the Lord sent me, Casey, I had already had my sight restored. The Lord had already used the key of David on me, or I wouldn't be able to see the way I could see. Okay? I just didn't know what to call it. <laughs> I knew I was different, and I could see, but I didn't know, remember? And I couldn't define it. And, um, you know, I didn't even know specifically about the curse. But I was just talking to the Lord before I came on. It was the way I prayed. I always said, thank you, Lord, for saving a wretch, a wicked wretch like me. I knew that I was wicked in the flesh. And by speaking those words, it was the same as admitting my wayward condition. I had done it a long time ago. And I'm leading up to something, okay? <laughs> But I wanted you to know these are anoint anointings. The Lord has shown it to me. He also gave us the tribes and their callings and anointings, the lists. Um, if you still need those, email Casey, go to comments, and then go to her channel and get the email. Verily, verily, Casey. The Lord wanted me to speak on this. You know, before I knew what restored sight was, I had already had my sight restored. I said it was leading to something. Family, even though we are in the bride and we are the Philadelphia church, the Lord wants me to remind everyone it is gifts, freely given, not earned. None of us are worthy but in Christ Jesus. It is just Jesus. And it always was and it always will be just Jesus that makes us worthy. We are sanctified in spirit. We are not sanctified in the flesh. And this I took a picture right out my own window. <laughs> the Lord gave me this a while back of the star and the moon. For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. It has nothing to do with sin. It's about faith. And the Lord is the one that gives us our faith to begin with. We are allotted a measure of faith right at the beginning. God gives us our faith. It is all freely given. None are worthy. None are righteous. But in Christ Jesus. If a channel or a person is speaking, saying sin will cost you from leaving in the escape of the bride. Turn them off. Do not listen. Shut their mouth. It is about Jesus Christ. He came to all of us. He gave us freely the truth about restored sight. He said, come to me. With a meek and a humble heart, admit your wayward condition, and I will take the key of David, and I will turn you right upright, sanctifying you and making you my bride. Pray for confirmation. 
and then seek him was how this thing went. It is by our faith alone that any of us are made worthy or righteous. Walking worthy is only because Christ has sanctified us in spirit. Only he is worthy and only we are righteous through him. If you have come on new and you have not sought the Lord on this, please go to the Truth Introduction video in the Restored Site playlist if you want more information. And then the bride is being called now out of the body to learn about the curse and why it must be broken to enter into heaven. Because many will have eternal life on earth because they did not get sanctified by the Lord with the key of David. They are still under the curse, which means they are house divided and double minded. Luke 11:34. the eye must be restored. You can't be part dark and go to heaven. Eternal life does not mean all have eternal life in heaven. To be clear, some will go into the millennial kingdom as humans eating from the tree of life. There is always mercy and grace for the meek and humble. So seek him now. Do not wait. Get into the list and learn what it means because... It's the order of things. It has to be done. The Lord has been teaching us all of these truths for our futures in His kingdom. Lastly, family, I just want to make a note in case you missed it. When the Lord gave us to become one, the Word, and He sent us to Rock Island, the channel, right here. This video, 2023 Rock Island Books. And note, I just went and captured this again. It has 4321 on the top. For the countdown. <laughs> Family, understand what the Lord did when he gave us this word. If you've missed this word, go back to the video to become one and listen to it. And then go and watch this video from Rock Island Books. I'll put the link in comments. The Lord Jesus confirmed without a doubt we go this year, 2023. The Lord does nothing without revealing it to his servants, the prophets, first. We he has spoken many times we are in the season. Now he has spoken 2023 is our year. Understand it in case you missed it. Give him praise and glory, family. It's awesome. He's on the way. He's on the doorstep. He keeps telling me travel time anytime over and over again. We can go any day. All right. And Pentecost is coming up. I believe it's the 27th, uh, which would... Now, this isn't the Lord speaking. This is just a observation, the full circle of where it began, began in the upper room with the holy fire being broken from the curse. All those that were in the upper room got the holy fire sanctified, turned right upright, becoming put on the rock, the Lord Jesus Christ and his bride. Okay, that's where it began. That could be the full circle of where it ends. I'm not saying the Lord has told me this for sure. But he has confirmed these are the dates. May 17th for Ascension Day. And he's been pointing me to it. And Pentecost. Um, so, don't say I said, thus says the Lord on that. That, it, like I said, is an observation. Full circle of the upper room. But we could go any minute. So, family, be blessed and encouraged. The king is coming. He truly is. Well, I love you guys. In case you missed it, I'll put the video in comments. God bless you and talk very soon.